Aloha! Welcome to another episode of Maui Craft Kitchen. Last week, I showed you how to make fresh pasta completely from scratch. And this week, I'm going to show you how to make a rustic red sauce with pork and mushrooms to go with it. Be sure to click that like button and hit subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest content. Now let's work that Maui magic and get right to it. Here we go. First thing, in a hot pot, we are going to add just a little bit of olive oil. This is not extra virgin olive oil. Next, we're going to add 150 grams of pork. This pork is off of a loin chop that I just cut up. I had it in the fridge. Figured it was time to use it. We're just gonna get some color on this. A little bit of that Maui magic. That was Himalayan salt, in case anybody's wondering. Next, we're going to add 100 grams of mushrooms. I have a mix of cremini mushrooms and oyster mushrooms here. You can use any mushrooms you like or no mushrooms at all. Next to the pot, we're going to add 60 grams of eggplant, 75 grams of onion, 10 grams of fresh garlic, 60 grams bell pepper, 35 grams Kalamata olives. You could also use capers if you don't like olives. We're going to deglaze the pan with a touch of red wine. This is gonna pull all those delicious bits that have been cooking on the bottom off of the pan and leave it in your sauce. Next, we're gonna add 800 grams of crushed tomatoes diced, crushed, whatever you prefer. Sprinkle in a little granulated garlic. Some Italian seasoning. A couple of chili flakes. Some fresh cracked black pepper. A little more of that Maui magic, Himalayan salt, and last but not least, 15 grams of apple cider vinegar. That's just going to make the tomato flavor pop a little bit more. Stir that together, bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and cook it until it's nice and thick. All right, guys, I've got a little setup going on here. First off, after about 30, 40 minutes, this is the beautiful red sauce that we just made to go with this pasta i've got a pan going here it's on a medium low heat just to get ready for the pasta over here i've got some boiling water with some salt in it don't forget to salt it very important it seasons the pasta we've got the pasta that we made last week mine's been sitting in the freezer beautiful isn't it i will be sure to include a link somewhere not quite sure maybe here maybe there possibly here i don't know but there will be a link somewhere to making this pasta pasta is going to go in the boiling water we're going to let that cook until uh, just tender maybe four to five minutes all right after about four or five minutes we're going to strain our pasta We're going to take a little bit of our beautiful red sauce that we just made, put it in this pan. Toss the pasta. And cook that together just for a minute or two so the pasta can absorb the sauce and they can both become one all right and after a couple of minutes I'm gonna twirl that pasta right onto the plate pull all these goodies down behind it garnish it with a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, the king of Parmesan cheeses. 
or any cheese of your choosing. Some fresh torn basil leaves. And now a little of that extra virgin olive oil. Oh my goodness. Isn't that beautiful? Would you look at what you just made? That is amazing. I'm gonna drink a glass of wine and go enjoy this. Aloha everyone.